Hey kids, it's Mrs. Fravel again. How are you? Good. Um, hey, I just wanted to pop in really fast and just describe how to do this assignment so that it's not confusing. At least I'll try not to be confusing. Sometimes I'm confusing. That's okay. Um, okay, what I would like you to do for this assignment is get away from your computer. You guys make some awesome stuff for me on Google Slides and Google Docs. I, I want you to go flex other brain muscles. I want you to go draw stuff for me and write stuff for me. Make me a poster. Yes. Um, what I would like you to do for this poster is outline all of the characteristics for fish that I talked about in the video. You are going to be comparing and contrasting chondrichthyes and osteichthyes. And if you don't know what those words meant, you need to go back and watch the video and fill in the note guide assignment, okay? So what are you going to do on this poster? What I would like you to do first in the middle of the poster on one side is to list all of the characteristics of fish. I go through those in the video. Then what I would like you to do for each group of fish, for chondrichthys on one side, osteichthys on the other side, I would like you to tell me the following. Describe their gills. Tell me what type of scales they have. What is their typical mouth position? How do they maintain buoyancy and their tail type and their fins? Describe their fins. That's not bad, right? Then what I would like you to do for each group, so two chondrichthian, two osteichthian, find two species of pelagic fish in each group. And that one of the videos that I posted um, of pelagic fish in French Polynesia has some really nice examples of some pelagic fish that you could go watch that video, write down some names, and do, uh, do some exploration on them. But you're going to find four fish total, two chondrichthys, two osteichthys, and you're going to tell me the following. Um, you're going to tell me their common name, their scientific name, their habitat and range, that just means what ocean are they found in, or are they found in all of them. Uh, tell me their conservation status, and you might need to Google their common name plus conservation status. You're going to get terms like um, least concern, vulnerable, threatened, endangered, or uh, near extinct or extinct. So that just is a way to tell us um, how these fish are doing compared to what numbers there should be. Okay. All right. And then my favorite part, I want you guys to include a picture. Draw it. Draw me a fish. Draw me some fishies, you guys. Um, and I know I, it's, I'm a terrible artist. I shouldn't ask people to draw things because I'm horrible at drawing. But um, I believe in you. I believe you can because I have gotten some amazing work from students in the past. You guys have some really cool talents. Go out and draw some fish for me. Okay. If you really can't draw fish, you can print out pictures, cut them out, and tape them on your poster. Okay, I have an example. It's not very good. I have a really cool example for you guys that was made by a former student. It's back in the classroom, but I don't have it here. So this is in general what I want you guys to do. Okay, here's what it should look like. Right? So down the middle of your paper, you should, you should write the characteristics of all fish. Okay? And then on one side, I would like you to do chondrichthys. On the other side, I would like you to do osteichthys. Now here's kind of a rough, very, let me see if I can get it close enough, very rough, oh, see you guys, terrible at drawing, terrible at drawing. Um, when you find your species, you're going to find two chondrichthian fish. So for example, I did a white shark, also called a great white shark, but again, always all great. Um, but their scientific name, so their common name is white shark. Scientific name is Carcharodon carcaris. They are found in all oceans and their uh, conservation status is they are vulnerable. And there's a really terribly manky picture. I could have done better. You will do better. Draw the things. Okay. And then you would find another species of chondrichthian pelagic fish. Okay. And then you'll do the same for osteichthys. Describe all of the things and then find two pelagic open ocean fish for me. Okay. Okay. Any questions? Okay. Uh, if you have any questions, if you have any trouble, if you um, really, oh, I really can't do this on paper, I don't have anything to write with. Okay. Yes, you do. But just you can message me. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Have a great day and uh, get all this done by Sunday at midnight. And don't forget the plankton stuff as well. Okay.